That is not their IQ this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Making their first appearance, Joe One, two, Holmes from three. Decatur Utilities and Mr. Bill Graham, Trinity Homes, up here, the official spokesman for the Athens Livestone Parade to Home because Keith Cribbett's out of town and Luke was too scared to do it. That's right. <laughs> Luke That's knows right. Here. And a fellow member down at Lindsay Lane Baptist Church. Yes, sir. It's kind of like we've had everybody, most of them were on this <laughs> week up here, it seems. Everybody but Dusty's been it's up great. here this week. Hey, speaking of churches, don't forget, let me tell you that Clay Dyer is going to be speaking. You ever heard great him speak? Story. I have a, I don't think I've seen the video I've and stuff. Video. Uh, he's going to be speaking over at a church in Decatur called Nature's Trail Church this weekend. Now, y'all may wonder why y'all have numbers on. I started this new thing. We'll do it in a little bit, though. But, Joe, you with the utilities. We're going to talk more about that in the second half hour this morning. How long have you been over there with them? Uh, it'll be two weeks uh, this Friday. Two weeks? Yes, sir. What you do? You got right in the hallway. What did you do before? I've been working for a company in Huntsville called LSYNC, a professional consulting uh, firm. And what do you consult people on? Uh, business strategies and communication strategies, so it was a natural transition to go back to the utility world. So. Yeah, <laughs> maybe you can help us out. Look, we ain't been doing this for about 40 years, yeah. so. Uh, he could use a lot of consulting. Yeah, <laughs> I could, Donna, but I won't <laughs> listen. <laughs> Bill Trinity Young, how long have you been building? Well, I built my first house in 2004 in Virginia, um, and then we moved back here in 2007, started my company in 2010. Now, you're originally from Athens, aren't you? Grew up here. I did. Got a grandfather, people may remember. Judge Rosenau. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a name I have to live up to, so that's a high standard. But uh, he was my grandfather, my, my mother's dad, and uh, I was uh, in the Navy for 22 years. So we, we came back in 2007. My wife's from here, too. She was Donna Vaughn before we got married. Um, so we've been back for, I guess, about seven years now. And good. Love it here. Good to be here. Tom, Tom, Tom and Joy. Joy. Seconds of your parents. Yeah, Frank and George. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> you want me to carry on asking anybody else? <laughs> well, I'm just trying to break the ice because, you know, this is a new, this is a new contest. <laughs> All right, Zach, you get any more sports this morning before I go to these main questions? No, I'm still mad about them picking on Nick Saban, so I'm... Zach, calm down, Zach. Just because you, you, and, you know Zach and Johnny Manziel are just, you know... <laughs> no, don't. Buddy. Yeah, oh, sure. Daddy. Zach, there's Zach. There's Johnny Manziel and Bob Zach out with him all the time. <laughs> don't Zach. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hang on, Zach. We'll get back over to you. Let me yeah, go All right, this time. Here's the name of our show, Joseph, you watch this morning. It's called The Cooper Court. That way I can play judge in a moment. Oh, I didn't have time to go get my robe. Y'all may not know this, Joe, but I, I ran for probate judge in Limestone County for two weeks. I remember that. I was forced out. out. <laughs> I was forced out. So, as the way I look at it, Bill, that gives me, what you say there, Jamie Cooper, probate judge. That gives me the title judge. So I ran for, here's a question for y'all. <laughs> Tell me what you're smiling about. They just did a survey on, here's the end of Cooper Court this morning, y'all answer the question. You don't win a prize yet because I ain't got nothing to give away. <laughs> what kind of game is I'm this? I'm thinking about giving away a corn dog that does hamburger. Or, in your case, maybe over at Nice, I'm over at uh, CF Penn. Penn. Mm -hmm. They just did a survey on all the fast food restaurants in America. <laughs> yes. Which one came in first? Mm. And customer satisfaction? Burger King. <laughs> Artists. Zach! Now it goes. Wake up, Zach. Zach! <laughs> <laughs> First was Papa John. Zach! <laughs> Zach! I didn't know if you wanted me to do that until after the, at the end. Pizza Hut was second. But the number one question I want to ask y'all, of all the fast food places, which one came in last? Last? That's, that's, that's the question. Gosh, it's a zillion of them. McDonald's. Last? No. Hardest. Uh, there is a winner, Bill Graham in the center. McDonald's absolutely came in last in satisfaction. Really? Wow. It is. Good. Wow. All right. Wow. Ding, 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 All right. ding, ding. Next ding. question. Next question. There's a new Goodness. toilet seat out by Coles. You all know this, Bill. <laughs> I ain't even got there yet. And, and I'm sorry. That did by accident. I'm sorry. There's a new toilet out. Have you heard about it? You wave. You just wave in the flushes. Have you heard about it? Have you I, got them in I, your house? I do not, but I saw a video of it. Why wouldn't you have them in all your houses? That's the latest thing going. They're probably outrageous. People I've built for like to you know, push no, the lever. Yeah, they, you, know. <laughs> you know, we got a bidet at our house. I mean, really. Tom sold it to me. I don't know why, but I bought it. <laughs> that thing, you get ready to drink out of that thing, you turn it up, that water shoots straight up. Joe? Huh? Is it cold water? <laughs> <laughs> the question is, how 
how much would this toilet, how much is it selling for? The waveless, you don't have to flush it now. You know, you just wave your hand. $7,500. How much? $7,500. $7,500? That's well, probably you why you're doing my YouTube. You the boxers, Zach. They locked up on me. Dang, man. How much would you say? $600. $600. Eh. No. The man who good. knows toilets now. About $1,800. I'd say about $2,500. Give me the buzzer, Zach. Official answer, $363. That's it? No kidding. Yeah. Wow. That's a, that's a bargain. I'm going to go get some today. Yeah. Yeah. Still right, time to Zach, get in my prayer. Give me my words of wisdom, then we'll do the final question for these that. three geniuses. Right. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Happiness is not determined by what's happening around you, but rather what's happening inside you. Uh, that is? I got one more. <laughs> Ties back to the toilet question. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. There you go. Hey, Zach. We can hey, Jane. Hear. I'm waiting on you. <laughs> we can hear you. Here we go, here we go, here we go. It's an hour show. I know, here we go. Never mind, I can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> well, get, get on the buzzer and get ready. And don't uh, your mama's yard sale is win. Hey, today and tomorrow, 103 Hammond Street. Go buy them out. All right. Y'all know the biggest, this in USA Today this morning, the what? biggest thing going right now is Naked TV. Oh. It's a brave new world out there, Bill. It says here, when Survival <laughs> Series Naked and Afraid premiered on Discovery Channel last year, it raised eyebrows and many other things. It didn't, I made that part up. Uh -huh. It intrigued viewers as the highest rated <laughs> series in the network's history. You better not be showing any other photos. <laughs> <laughs> Put Naked in the title and the bodies on, and bare bodies on the screen and watch what happens. Our ratings will go sky high. <laughs> Take shirts off. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's what is going right there. Wow. And it says one, one episode on dating naked, a man and woman meet to do what Adam and Eve did, but he didn't like it. So anyway, <laughs> here's the question. It's a two-fold question here. Have any of y'all ever been to a nudist camp? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> sure. No. I'm sure they're sure. <laughs> Have any of y'all ever watched naked TV? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that there is a nudist camp near us? Yes. No. Murfreesboro. Nope. Yes. Murfreesboro. I guess it's see. still open. I, I'll find it. The question out. is, would y'all go to a nudist camp? No. I'm going to give y'all an easy question. This is the question. <laughs> Name the one person, Craig, Frank, Brad, Abby, Zach, Gloria, or me, Name the one question. Which one of us has ever been to a news camp? Johnny Cooper. Got to be you. Hallelujah. <coughs> Show the photograph. There's me. Oh. Butt me. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 1980. <laughs> Joe. <coughs> when I tell people come to our house and I say, hey, y'all want to see my nude? They think it's going to be my lovely bride. <laughs> but they're surprised because it's me. Now, I was, there, I was there when I was the country rover at Channel 31, and you was a kid, 1980, and I go up there, and they said, you got to get naked to come in. Well, me and my old redneck buddy sure. from you, Hope, <laughs> we didn't waste no time. <coughs> the guy that let us in, the older man, nickname was Slinky. Right now, we'll take a break. <laughs> Y'all hang on. <laughs> Loving me.